We're back doing another one of these reviews on another car and so far it's pretty much just been German cars. So today I thought we'd change it up and we get one of these on. And a few people have told me to get a uh, 182 on the channel just to see what I think about it. That's what we're here to do today. This is a Renault Clio 182 Cup. There's a cup in it. Yeah, it says on the door. It does. Cup. Cup. We've just jumped in the Clio and I'm a bit scared. He's just taking me for a quick drive. Sounds good though, it just sort of screams at you. So I'm just gonna get used to the car for a bit. Oh, the steering is so light. We're in the we're in the Clio, and I have to say straight away, I don't like the interior at all. What Renault were going for when they were making this car, every other car they made was just sort of family safe car and then they took the plunge with this and just said screw it we're having some fun it's got two liter naturally aspirated but the only things he's done to it i think he said he's got cams from the 197 so it is pushing on the dyno 197 brake horsepower man this is weird this feels really light even like the, the suspension is nice because it's so light, but the steering is also very light. Concentration face on. 
Okay, so for this car in this particular colour, because this colour apparently it gets ragged a lot and so lots of them get written off. So for this colour, you can pick up one for about four grand, but for a different colour or black or something like that, you can probably get that for half as much. So if you're solely focusing on the funness of this car, then it's a it's a proper good car to have just to just for a little weekend bash about. Not even a weekend bash about, just for a little bash about. So French. It is. <laughs> Very different to what I've driven before. It's scary and fun. And I, I can honestly see why people like to have these. I haven't really spoken about the looks of it yet. I really do like the look of it. It's just, it's small and mean at the same time. The thing that I think is the best bit is the twin exit exhaust at the back. And it's got 16 inch wheels. And then, yeah, I don't really know how to describe the front of it. There's a lot of detail in there. You guys already know I'm just a vag person. I like German cars. Like I've said a million times, I can see why people like these. And round a corner as well, they, they do hold fairly well. It feels like you're on a little, it feels like you're driving on a marshmallow though. It's hard to explain because it holds it, but it is like it's floating around corners. So you can't tell that you're, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. This car is just different, but it's, it's good. So this has been the Clio 182 Cup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on the car. If anyone out there has an R26 Megane who, uh, who would want to 
feature on the channel, let me know. Because now that I've driven this, I want to explore a bit more in that area. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, obviously, if you're new around here. Turn on the little bell for any notifications. For anyone interested in, in the Volkswagen Audi scene, I've got myself a new project, which is an Audi TT, which I've been working on recently. Yeah, if you're, if you're into your German cars, I've got a playlist for that. So if you want to check it out, if you don't, it's cool. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.